Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and I hope you're having a great day. So, I had some comments, two people comment, for Ostrach und Ungarn. Absolutely, absolutely. And second of all, the second comment was that you probably should have paused the game when selecting focuses. Well, normally I do, but I figured since I'm playing the Great War mod, I'm not really too concerned with the focuses. The focuses, you know, as good as they are, they're not really something that I find to be extremely important in this mod. I mean, yeah, being anti-Russian, having recruit recruitment propaganda, having bureaucracy, all good and all, but realistically, it's when we get to the war where things will be really important. And besides, a lot of these focuses, they're not really that great. That's really why. Equipment effort, you get a 15% research bonus. Infantry equipment. Aviation effort, you get a 15% research bonus for air doctrine. Uh, you get a civilian factory after 70 days, so I'm not really concerned too much about back, uh, focuses, foci, but normally I am, normally I am, but sometimes I just I just let things go, just because it's not a massive change or difference once a focus is complete, so that's my reasoning. It's still 1913, we have a l little bit of time before everything may go south. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what the future's going to be like. It's 1913, it doesn't seem very good, I mean, we're trying to be anti-Russian, and the Russians don't like us, and then the Russians also don't like the Germans, who don't like the French, who wants to be an ally with Russia, and then the UK and our allies are just a bunch of messes. It could turn to one heck of a terribly bloody war, you know? Oh, we need make more military factories. Alright, so 60, and it's pretty central in the Empire. That'll be good. Uh, let's see, we're, oh, we also have some soldiers. See, we've got at least 120 with here. We want to make everyone 20... Four stacks at least. Oh, we are training some soldiers here as well, which is good. And they're almost done being green soldiers. Good, they're all done being green. Let's make sure that everyone is uh, not green. Probably only need 24 for Serbia, I hope. I hope we only need 24 divisions for Serbia. Uh, we we'll definitely need more on the Russian front. And on the Italian front, I'm not super concerned either. Not yet. I, I know I will be. I definitely will be later on. Ooh, the first flight across the Mediterranean. Today, the locals of Bizarte, Tunisia, noticed a strange flying object, which was revealed to be Roland Garros, Garros a French professional pilot, in his Moraine Solnier monoplane. This journey marks the first crossing of the Mediterranean Sea by air, an astounding landmark for the young science of aviation. Local sailors were reportedly not impressed. Oh, well, alright then. Alright, so that's like a quick look. So we got... Four more divisions coming along, which is good. I think it gets to be three, one more as well, but surprised that you don't have enough support equipment yet. And we're starting to make some coastal divisions as well. So we have anti-Russian policy, and for my viewer, there you go, I paused it. Alright, so we're anti-Russian. We could probably limit trade with Russia. Eh, let's probably do that, I suppose, next. Yeah. Alright, and then we will unpause it now. Cool. Yeah, they only really need ten width since the combat stats for... The Great War divisions aren't super great. Yeah, we're going to put 24 on here, and then I'm definitely going to put pretty much all my other soldiers on the border with Russia. Because even though the Russians have a long line, they still have a few soldiers. The Germans have quite a few in some locations. Let's hope the Germans can actually do pretty well. I wonder what the division with... I did check a little bit between the Russians, me, Germany, France, Italy, UK. They all generally have a little less combat width than 18. Oh, oh that was fast. So they have less than 20. Usually they have 18. 15 was a common combat width I saw between all the battalions and divisions between all these major powers. So I'm just thinking, you know what? We could probably do very well if I made four, make my soldiers 40 width. Now that would be uh, devastating. That'd be very interesting. Actually, let's make you up here just because you're next to Germany. And hopefully you won't lose the area around the Sudetenland. Good. That'd be very good. Oh, we might have to scrounge up some soldiers to go to war with Romania. I know they don't really like us. We don't really like them either. Okay, bombing sites. Cool. It's 1913. Better ground support. Uh, we should also maybe make some planes. Can't I make some planes? This is not the page for planes. Uh, you know, despite playing this for years, I still get some of these confused, like production and recruitment deploy and construction. I swear I'm so good. Well, I swear I'm not the greatest player, but I still get confused sometimes. Uh, let's see, planes. That's not planes, these are planes. Scouts. Post air support planes. So they can't really do air combat or air superiority. 
Oh, you have one for air superiority, and you have one as well. Maybe we'll just make uh, a few things of planes. Maybe, maybe not. We definitely need more support equipment, though. Holy cow. Good lord, we can constantly make more and more uh, military factories. Love it. We need civilian factories when you got enough military factories. That should be pretty darn good. Alright. You two, you're almost done. Uh, are you guys done training? You guys? Yes, you are. And you know what? We might as well just keep you going for now. We still get a little more army XP anyways. We'll keep those guys uh, training until we have a full 24 stack. That's my plan. That's my plan. Let's see, uh, reach and wide integration. Ooh, that would be good, actually. But we still have one more thing here. Rifleman Primacy. Awesome. So, we can't do machine gun team, which we don't believe in machine guns. So we're going to go with mobile positions, which means when the enemy's trench has finally been emptied and overran, it is imperative that we be able to exploit our advantage. Several attacks fall, fail simply because by the time we get to the enemy's trench line, they've already assembled a much larger counterattack and expel our attacking force between, before the support moves up. By making sure we get our own men are prepared to line up quickly, we can ensure that we keep what ground we get. And honestly, uh, I, I, sh I should really pause the game, but whatever. Alright, so you guys are going to train, you guys are going to stop training, and one of you guys is not even a volunteer yet, or veteran yet. Ooh, torpedo propulsion. I will pause it here to satisfy some people. Let's see, ooh, more sub-organization. Rusty subs? That's got to be terrifying. That's got to be really terrifying, serving in a submarine. I mean... You never know when you might go down, especially in wartime. It's just got to be absolutely petrifi petrifying, terrifying. Just you're surrounded by water. If you get hit, you might be there might have to be a hole in your hull, and you might just go bye bye, and no one will ever see you again. You'll drown, suffocate to death under all the pressure. If you're deep in the ocean, no one can hear you. Literally scream. That is to me a very terrifying thing. And I put this under the wrong guy. Uh, yeah, uh, no, actually, uh up here. You will be led under someone else, because you will probably have a pretty big front. Oh, yeah, be under both for us with the defensive doctrine. Yeah, that'll be good. And you shall be someone as I drink my coffee. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't really need to garrison the bedroom border too much. So our goal will be try to get this guy uh, up to 24 four divisions, and then we're going to start making an army for Romania to hopefully flesh out the Balkans. Modifier government government one last time. Non-core manpower, effective partisans. We can make a few things a little faster. I don't think... What are nuclear reactors? It's only 1913. It's almost 1914. What are nuclear reactors? Uh, convert to fascism? What's fascism? We obviously don't believe in a democracy here. And communism is just... No, it's a failed ideology. No one, no, no one will ever become communist. It's just you know something that people like to talk about that they're just ignorant about. Oh, partial mobilization. Can't do war economy yet. Uh, let's do popular figurehead. Actually, would be pretty good. Let's do that so we get more stability. Limited trade with Russia. I'm sure the Russians will love that. All right, so it's almost 1914, and I haven't done a lot of this just because it takes too long. Let's see. I'm not giving Bukovina to Romania yet. Fortify the Italians side, or fortify the Balkans. So, one, two, three, four states get trenches. I paused it. I paused it. And then one, two, three states get forts. 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 Forts! Actually, this is better because you actually get forts. Forts. What's the difference between a fort and a trench? Trench gives you... Use the shelter troops to provide a good defense bonus to the defender. When leading an assault, you should attack from multiple directions to reduce the trench effectiveness. Versus a fort, it flex an attack penalty of negative 7% for each fort level on the attacker in combat. So we don't exactly get to see the pure effectiveness of this. Uh, yeah, they don't actually tell us what percentage that it helps nullify the enemy. So actually, I'm going to use this one just because it gives us actual forts instead of trenches, which I can continue building up. And actually, that's a really good idea to build these up as well. Something tells me Italy is an unwilling or reluctant potential ally of ours. So I don't know how much I really trust them. Uh, Serbia. I'm not really going to be concerned too much with Serbia, so we're not going to build them up to level 6. Trenches. Close, but not quite. And definitely against the Russians, because 
No, if anything, Russia is a massive state. Not, not an educated state, not a very well educated, not a very smart state, but they have a lot of bodies. God, that's a lot of guys in there. You know, from our initial espionage. Oh, they're, oh, they're, wait, they're allied with the UK? What type of secret agreement did they have? But anyways, they have like three million extra men on with just volunteers or with limited conscription. With just like barely any conscription, they have almost four million. Almost four million! I think I just sent the wrong division there. Ah, I did. Cool. So you are going to be special. You're going to be, uh... I'm going to call you, give these guys an awesome name. The Backups. See how great you are? You are so important, you are in the backup position. Uh, apparently I don't have enough political power yet. Let's see, with you, I'm literally going to guard every single part of the coast. Uh, that's not the coast. Bosnia is not on the coast. Bosnia has Slovenia. You are on the coast, that would be important to keep. So yeah, we need at least ten divisions there, which is fine. Which we don't need everyone immediately anyways. Cool. Let's go ahead and recruit another general. New general, please. Marco Ber Berglin. Hello, Marco Berglin. You got quite a few factories, I love it. So right now we're trying to make a few more scouts. We, we need a lot more support equipment. Surprisingly, we need a ton of uh, support equipment. We got plenty of artillery, surprisingly, and a lot of first trunk carriages. Oh wait, we have, oh wait, we have scouts down here. Never mind. <sighs> Very nice. So, actually, if we even want to use those, we're going to need, you know, air bases. So let's go with that, air base over there. And we'll put one in Tyrol, just because if we use it in Sud Tyrol, odds are the area might get damaged, we might not be able to use all level 10 stuff. I'm not saying we're, we'll have level 10 stuff to use, but I think that'd be for the best. And I didn't realize that I was actually training these guys so long, so they're almost veterans. It's awesome. That's really awesome. Oh, we got our first, oh, we got half the guys like veterans already. Uh, we need to train, change up these mountaineers, I believe, as well. So close. So close. All right, I'll pause it. Let's see. 1914. Happy 1914, everyone. I hope this will be a great year for everyone, and we'll have nothing but peace and joy in our lives. God, that won't last long. Ooh, more, inf oh, plus 25% for infantry and plus 10% infantry defense. Jesus Christ, what type of modifiers are you playing with, game? All right, so we got another one. Uh, let's see, we can actually get better artillery. That sounds good to me. Artillery, something tells me that artillery might be a little important. Artillery's always been impo extremely important in warfare. Ah, uh, you can stop training those guys. Now, Mountaineers, I've neglected you completely, so give them some art. You know what, we're gonna give them a ton of artillery. Uh, can I make these 40 width? Just make some really thick mountain boys. Oh, oh crap, I'm out of stuff. Crap, I'm out of army XP. Oh no. Mm, region wide industrial integration. Sure, screw it. Why not? Good. This is looking good. Looking good so far. I mean, obviously, this front against Italians, they probably won't really go to war with us too soon. Oh, looks like we just made Dreadnought too. Awesome. But you never know. Ooh, fortify Italian border. I will pause it. There we go. Okay. So we have made some land forts. And we have also trenches on the border with Italy, just in case. Just in case. Oh, we can have... Support by that. Military harmonization. Uh, yeah, there's really not much I can do. I, everything is just through events. That's why I'm not really concerned about these focuses or foci. I mean, yeah, military factory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreadnoughts. Eh. I mean, I want to get everything done eventually, but... Eh. Five, I already have 5 million manpower. 50% from Austrian staff. I don't need 2% more, probably. Well, fortify the coast. Build airports. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Why not? We'll build airports, and then we'll try to fortify the coast. All right. One last slip of cop here, guys. Mm. Franz Joseph, daddy. What an amazing man. At this time, he is one of the longest-serving monarchs in the history of the world. He's seen so much crap. He's seen us go to war with the Prussians before they become the North German Confederation. He's seen the revolutions that spawned 
1848, the, the crying for the evils of democracy. I mean, he's seen the Balkans change hands so many times. He's seen the birth of the German Empire. He's seen the further revolutions in the late 19th century. I mean, this man, he has so much experience, and I hope he's heard, learned a lot during his years, and hope he writes an autobiography about his experience as a monarch. Now, if he doesn't, that's actually a crying shame to really get a perspective of what he thought. But, man, can someone tell this guy to write a biography? That would be amazing. He lived for so long. Hopefully he'll live forever, though. Something tells me he might live quite a bit longer. But you never know. Anyways. Uh, oh, God. Oh, my God. We're out of guns. Oh, shoot. We, uh, sorry, planes. We're going to put you under... Uh, we need we need guns. All right. Uh, nice. We actually have 15 divisions here now. Without airports. I'm pausing it. And let's get the... Ooh, military harmonization. But let's get some uh, coastal forts first. All right, so it's almost June. Seems things seem to be fairly peaceful as well. Ah, Serbia, bastard. Italy, how are you doing? Italy, uh, let's see. They have liberty ethos, less than a million manpower right now. France, pretty, not too fresh. They're fairly stable, but they're you know not super stable. Half a million manpower, and limited conscription. You guys are on limited conscription with half a million manpower. Germany. As home, oh, no, oh, oh, wow, they have a lot of German boys. Wow, Ooh. almost six and a half million. The Russians actually have less than the Germans, and the Germans are on the same level of conscription. That doesn't make any sense. But then again, they have militarism. Jesus, scramble for Africa, as well as German staff. Oh, all right, Let's get a look. Right. Oh, my apologies. That was my bad. I was trying to let my cat out of the room because he was on the door. And I do, I know, I'm sorry. I saw a day go by real quick. I apologize. But that is nothing compared to what has just happened. Franz Ferdinand is dead. The esteemed Archduke of Austria Est and Crown Prince of the Austro Hungarian Empire is dead. I'm sorry, guys. It's just too much. His noble wife rests beside him. Franz Joseph has lost another heir, and to the damn, vile sons of bastards that are the Serbians, the Serbian government officially denies involvement with assassin Gariv Gavrilo Princip, blaming the Black Hand, though few believe a lack of government involvement. involvement. We have sent compensation demands to the Serbians. If they decline, they'll have hell to pay. My God, how many men, how many people does Franz Joseph have to lose? His son committed suicide in the late 19th century or early 20th century. His brother was executed in Mexico. His wife, I think, also died earlier in the late 19th, late 19th century. I mean, how many men, how many men and women, people he cares about have to lose? Why? Why? This is so bad. This is, he should, he should really write an autobiography, I mean, at this point. I think he really should. It'd be very telling to express, to see how he expresses himself. But, you know, that's just me. Alright, so, let's continue to make some of these boys a little thicker. Alright, 28 width, not bad. I mean, obviously that's not ideal, but, you know, whatever. And we do have, how many divisions? We have six divisions on the coast, which is awesome, but I'm going to definitely build this up a little further when we get to go to war with... A lot of other people. Oh boy. Alright, it's July 11th, and actually, if historically speaking, we have the July Crisis. First, our beloved Kron Prince is shot by some hot headed anarchist bastard. Then, the Serbians, emboldened by their ties to Russia, decline our list of very simple and reasonable demands for compensation. So be it. What the hell? If Serbia will not accept Austrian rule in Bosnia, we will fire off at a, any government official until the spoiled brats get their way. Then Austria will simply extend rule over their own territory and ensure non-so-called independent assassin ever gets another attempt again. And we shall go to war. Serbia, obviously, has refused our demands. Bunch of bastards. With Germany auto-declaring war on Belgium, and we declared war on Serbia. And now we are war with the ent almost the entire Entente. Wait, Kingdom of Hungary? Independence of Croatia, what the? Get back in my empire! 
Alright, so with you guys, it looks like we have a fairly good chance of winning. I really should have made airplanes down here. I don't want to attack the Russians just because our lines aren't, like, super strong. Uh, let's take a quick look at this. Uh, you guys are... Oh, you guys are not well balanced at all. Hold on, let's... We gotta shift our lines around just a little bit. Alright, oh, that's shit. That's too much. That's too much. No, 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 no. God, I hate having Germany as an ally sometimes. God dang it. There we go. So really, my goal is just beat snot out of the Serbs. And, oh, oh, I forgot about Montenegro. I forgot about Montenegro. You gotta stop. Actually, no, you don't stop. You're not gonna stop. Don't stop believing. Forgot. My ace in the hole. They're gonna take a little bit of territory, but they'll become a little weaker, which is fine with me. Go, my horses, go! Uh, let's see. War propaganda, emergency conversion. Can we go with total mobilization? Actually, since we have so much manpower, and I'm guaranteed to get more, I'm okay with going with total mobilization at this point. Uh, let's see here. What you want to do is search and destroy for anything that's around here. Now, we're not winning very well against here, so be a little bit more careful. You guys, in general, don't attack across the river. No, I don't want to unsign them. You guys just... No. Tunisia has joined against us. Or joined, yeah, joined against us. Uh, yeah, let the Montenegros come in. Oh, Luxembourg is gone. Eh, this is going to be one hell of a war. Oh, we've already... We lost some territory. Because our guys are just too retarded. Uh, I'm not really worried about that. I will come back to that in just a little bit. Because I have some bigger threats to deal with at the moment. Can we actually encircle, like, three Montenegro divisions? No, right. So, we've lost 3,000, the Germans have lost 10,000, and the Entente so far, so far lost 12,000. Good. Oh, they have definitely expanded down here, which is not good, guys. Why did you do that? Ah, oh, that was just retarded. But I'm not, I'm still not really worried about it. You guys, you guys go here. Oh, I did. They took over my trenches and stuff. God dang it. I think two guys go that direction as well. You guys should be able to beat two Russian divisions. You are 20 width for a reason. And plus air support. Alright, so you should have 50 planes. That's not bad. Oh, we do have airplanes down here. Actually, I'm going to send you down here so we can finish the Balkans off first. That'll be more important. In my opinion. Hmm. I'm glad I have horses. Go ahead and continue to help grind them down. The Montenegro forces. And we will we will lose a lot of guys. I'm 100% sure of that. Oh, we made an encirclement. Looks like Russia made the beginning. Oopsie. Juarez assassination. Jean Juarez of France was assassinated by the Parisian Cafe, La Croissant. Uh, 146, Rue Montmartre, an aptly named Raoul Villan, a 29-year-old French nationalist. Juarez was scheduled to appear at one of the international's conferences to deliver a protest against a seemingly impending war, we're already at war, and with his death, the ma last major social obstacle to French involvement in the coming fight has passed. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Go ahead and take out that guy. Oh, wait, I got that here. God dang, I can't believe they already broke across the river. That was stupid. My bad. Uh, oh, we surrounded Belgrade. Holy crap. Wait, who's justifying on us? Japan! Get out of here, Japan! Hey, nobody wanted to have to deal with you. Uh, but that was really good. That's really cool. 1914. I'm going to stop with this air doctrine stuff because we got other things to research, probably. Uh, land doctrine, we're still doing that. We're doing artillery. Armor, no. Well, maybe we don't have very much to research. Uh, Let's do field hospitals, because I don't want to lose too many guys, because this this is going this is a massive war. We already took the capital of Belgrade. Absolutely amazing. Alright, so go ahead. With the capture of Belgrade, they we have extinguished so many Serbian men that hopefully you'll quickly be able to rush into there. Rush into the rest of the country and take them over. What are the casualties? So, we've lost 17,000. The Germans have lost 50,000. 
Uh, Serbia's only lost 18,000, interestingly enough. That's not a lot of guys. Alright, so they're going to try to help these guys out. The Germans are definitely moving down here. Definitely holding the coast. No one seems to be invading the coast, which is fine with me. Mm, well, we are definitely taking quite a few casualties. Oh, Conrad von Hutzendorf, yes. Uh, I wish you were an assault, aggressive assaulter. Do you have any upgrades levels? No, but he's learning. He's learning. That's, he's, look, that, that's all we can ask is for the man to learn. And I would like some of my territory back, Russia, please. Please, Russia. Please. You don't deserve any of this crap. Hopefully we can take, push them out. Oh, these guys are a little injured. I want to kind of try to capitalize on that if I can. Serbia is gone! It only took us less than a month to cap capitulate Serbia. Uh, and something tells me, though, Greece may turn into a problem. But the Serbian, the state of Serbia, no longer exists. And this is what they get for defying our demands. And now Montenegro will fall as well. And the opening of the Panama Canal. Apparently, we still have news. Worldwide news. So after years of construction, the Panama Canal opened today, establishing a more direct connection from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean, which will no doubt be a boon to trade in the region, as well as make the area an important strategic location. American engineers have stunned the world with this amazing feat, with the exceptions, of course, the British and the Germans, who both insist that their canals are better. Yeah, well, whatever. It really doesn't concern me. I mean, we're, we're busy in the Balkans. We're busy fighting. So, so you definitely need to come here. It looks like we might actually be able to push out the Russians. Bastards. Well, we're doing very well in the Balkans. Something tells me that my Conrad von Hutzendorf is much better than what he could have been. Alright, so we got a little more artillery and a little more artillery. 40 with boys. I love them. Uh, put some field hospitals and... Oh, definitely some artillery. Good. We have an encirclement as well, which is very, very nice. Zoran Vazilja. Vazilja. Cool. What is this? Attacking from multiple directions? Yeah, one guy left. Put a little pressure on those British boys. And I'm surprised we haven't found anything here. Can we go with convoy raiding? Because they have British boys down there. Oh, gas masks! It may be an unfortunate reality of this war that the gas may be used. We must be prepared. Well, the Austrians are nothing but prepared for a total war. You know, I'm glad I have the German AI here, because they love sending their boys to me. Let's see. Oh, they also took a little portion of Plock. Oh, they're not really winning on other parts of the front. How, how is the Western Front? Well, Luxembourg is gone, and nothing has really changed. The French have a lot of divisions, which is very interesting. Alright. Oh, mobile position. Good. So, I've already read about that. So we get a little more speed and organization, which is good. And now we're going to do counter-offensive. Sometimes the best offense is a good offense. However, sometimes the best offense is simply an enemy's mistake being punished. But by trying to paint enemies into attacking just to slaughter them, and responding with an attack in kind, we can easily ensure a successful offensive in battle. We get more breakthrough, which is actually really good, and even more speed. We're going to have some fast boys. I love fast boys. All right. Good. Uh, what does this do? Oh, no, I don't want to do that one, because that will hurt my, hurt my uh, war abilities. Abilities to wage the wars. Uh, horses, you are doing what? Actually, if you get, get the port, that is really what is most important here. Wow. Port, import, and... Wow, I'm, I'm sorry. That was terrible. Go ahead and try to help out against these guys. Ellis, yeah. Japan, why... <laughs> Wow, the Germans have already lost 106,000. That's a lot of guys dead. Ah, so we have almost taken back our territory. We're still fighting, and the Russians aren't giving any ground. Our guys have been fighting for so long, they've been out of the fight. And they're fully ready to fight again. The Russians will definitely lose uh, a lot of guys for this. And that's fine with me. Yeah, we definitely need this territory here. Just keep, keep at it, guys. Keep at it. If we can take this, then these other soldiers will die. And I'm very surprised I've not found any convoys that are trying to reinforce these soldiers. Because they're, they're definitely British. There are definitely quite a few Brits here. First London Division. 
my goal is a continual attack, so even if we lose initially, just draining him of organization and whatnot is really my goal. You know, strength and stuff as well. As long as we don't take too many casualties. 35,000 isn't too bad, though. Alright, so we have finally managed to get back all of our territory, and the Germans are actually getting attacked quite a bit. Uh, I don't... Oh, well, maybe we can't get everything back. Oh, okay, so that's a lot of divisions. I can't really help attack... But I can't really, but I can help defend, and that's what really counts here. So Germany, please don't lose, lose Prussia, please. And don't. Oh, you're lost, Mamel. Oh, that's bad. Oh, you might lose Luxembourg as well. That's not good. All right, so we have 17 divisions here. I'm gonna cut you down to uh, really one. You only really need one. Let's see. I need to put more divisions over here, and then I might start making another army. Actually, I'm gonna use my cavalry. Now, what I'm talking about. It's helping the Germans on their eastern, western front. Their western front. Yes. Ooh, two more divisions. Good. Yeah, just keep putting, applying a lot of pressure on them. There's 17 divisions here, and hopefully we can break their organization and strength. Because I got a lot of guys. Uh, we don't really have a lot of equipment, but that'll get resolved eventually. Let's see. Yeah, we're still making military factories. So that's fine with me. You come here. Help defend. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's see. Backup six. We need ten. Oh, I should not have gotten rid of that other guy. Those are the two divisions. Whatever. Well, we'll have it here good enough. Go up. Keep, keep grinding them down. Keep grinding them down. Their reserves are really bad, so. I'm extremely surprised we have found nobody here. How have we found nobody? You guys keep going at it. You don't give them any sort of chance to heal up. I I just can't have someone staying here. Oh, it looks like they're winning, which is good. Uh, they're doing okay up there. But I think we are fairly successful in our first episode. Improve worker conditions. Yeah, let's give them more stability. I think that would be a great thing. We've lost 50,000. The Germans have lost quite a few. Wow. No wonder Germany had so much manpower. They knew they were going to lose a lot of guys. You guys are not quite ready to attack yet. Oh, he's an organizer. Very good. But I will throw you into the fray once again. Right now. Good. Uh, let's see, you guys. You have, it seems like they have a pretty quick uh, reorganization rate. Yeah, keep, keep, keep reorganizing, guys. Yeah. I think this strategy is going okay. It's not great. I mean, this is definitely not a great strategy to do. But it's better than what... Be better than nothing else. Ooh. Carol, the first of Romania, has died. Who was that? Anyways, uh, I guess Japan is our enemy in this Austro-Hungarian War. Good. Uh, the long rule of Carol the First of Romania helped the quick development of the Romanian state. During his reign, Carol the First personally led Romanian troops during the Russo-Turkish War and assumed command of the Russo-Romanian army during the siege of Plevna. The country achieved internationally recognized independence via the Treaty of Berlin in 1878. Interesting how things all come together eventually. You guys keep up attack. The horse has been attacking for quite a while, and this guy, ooh, I'm going to pause it here. Those soldiers, they look well enough rested for us to attack again. Yeah, I know this is pretty suicidal, and it's not really doing very much damage, but their reserves are pretty out of organization, which is good, and they're slowly losing strength. Uh, you guys, you keep attacking. So, military harmonization, and then what? An episode. Uh, recruitment propaganda. Mm, we are kind of demobilizing, but I think we'll be okay. Construction efforts, bureaucracy. Uh, let's do bureaucracy, because we can, and we'll end it here. So, guys, what have we done? We have gone to war against Serbia, and we have already taken them out. This is one sick Osterreich Ungarn. And we're trying to get rid of the last vestiges of the Entente in the Balkans. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you are new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we try desperately to get rid of the, ally the Entente's present in the Balkans, and maybe help strike against Russia. Thank you very much for watching.